In this tutorial, we're going to use a couple of examples to begin to look at how objects actually work and how we can go about using them. Uh, you can see uh, from most of uh, these examples here uh, that uh, objects tend to have one or more inlets uh, across the top um, and one or more outlets uh, at the bottom. Uh, basically, what any object does uh, is it takes the data messages uh, that we send to its inlets, uh, it does something to that data, uh, and spits the modified data uh, out of its outlets in some other form. So uh, in order to begin using an object, you need to know firstly what kind of data messages uh, you need uh, to send to each of the object's inlets, uh, and you also need to know what kind of data uh, to expect to come out of the object's outlets. I'm going to use uh, the counter object as an example. Um, we already know uh, that the counter object um, uh, counts numbers sequentially. And um, if I hover my mouse uh, over the uh, leftmost inlet, uh, ignoring the others for now, uh, I can see that it says, amongst other things, uh, bang are counted. In other words, uh, it's going to count the number of bang messages that I send to this inlet. If I hover the pointer now uh, over this leftmost outlet, again, uh, I'm going to ignore the others for now, uh, I can see that it says current count. So now we know, basically, uh, how the counter object works. Uh, it's going to count the number of bangs sent to its left inlet uh, and send the result to its left outlet. So... Um, if I connect uh, the button to the left inlet, it will let me send bangs to it. And if I connect the left outlet to the print object, we should be able to see the results. I'm just going to disconnect everything else for now. So this is what we have. And if, we, and if we now look in the max window, as I lock the patch and click on the button, we can see that each time I click the button, it sends a bang message to the first inlet of the counter object. The counter object processes, counts those bangs and sends the current count, which is now being sent to the print object so that we can see it in the max window. Now we know uh, that the button widget uh, just creates uh, a message that says the word bang. Uh, we can prove that by uh, connecting it directly to the print object. Now uh, if I click on this, we see the word uh, bang in the uh, max window. Um, now if I create uh, a message box and type into that the word bang, and send that to the counter object, we will see that it uh, still works in exactly the same way as when we use the button. So it's counting the number of bang messages that it receives at its left inlet. If I change the contents of the message box so that it says, for example, hello, and click on, lock the patch and click on the uh, message, we'll now see that we get an error in the max window saying that the counter object doesn't understand the hello message that it just received. So let's move this uh, to one side now uh, and have a look now at uh, an object that actually uh, creates some sound. Uh, objects that create or process audio uh, are called MSP uh, objects, you'll remember, uh, and the object names all have this uh, tilde symbol at the end of them. Uh, so now we're going to use uh, the cycle object, which generates a sine wave. Um, again, we need to know what data messages um, that the object expects to receive um, and what kind of data it's going to output. If I hover the uh, mouse pointer over the left uh, inlet, I can see that it says float frequency. That means uh, I can send it a numerical message for the frequency of the sine wave that I want. 
um, and the outlet, as we can see, uh, is going to be the signal output. In other words, uh, the audio of the sine wave itself. Now, in order to send the frequency data, I could type uh, a number uh, into a message box. So uh, this, when I send the message, will create a sine wave at 440 hertz. And this would create a sine wave at 880 hertz, for example. Or I could use a number box. And obviously that would allow me uh, to change the frequency uh, with the mouse. Now, uh, with the counter object, we sent, we connected the outlet to the print object in order to be able to see the results uh, in the max window. With an MSP object, uh, such as Cycle, we need to hear the results. Uh, and for that, we need to use the DAC tilde object. So I'm going to create one of those. DAC tilde. And we connect the outlet of the cycle to the inlets of the DAC object. Now the DAC um, is just another object like any other um, and we can see uh, by hovering the mouse pointer that uh, it needs to receive a one message at the left inlet to switch it on uh, and a zero message to switch it off. Now we could do that uh, like this by sending uh, a one message to switch it on and a zero message to switch it off. That would be one way to do that. Or, uh, as we know from a previous uh, tutorial, we could use uh, the toggle uh, widget, which sends a one message uh, when you click on it once and a zero if you click on it again. So I can use that instead. Uh, of the one and zero here. Now I'm going to lock the patch and at this point you may want to turn down the volume on your sound card as the results can be quite loud um, and what we'll find when I switch on the toggle object it's going to send a one message to the DAC and we should hear the sine wave if I click here at 440 hertz. And uh, at the same time, if I change the number in the number box, we should hear the frequency of the sine wave changing. So what we've seen here are some general principles that apply to any object in Max MSP. You need to know what kind of message data to send to the object's inlets. And you need to know what kind of data is going to come out uh, of the outlets. You can find that out uh, by hovering the mouse pointer over the inlets or the outlets of the object. And also uh, by connecting the outlets uh, to the print or DAC uh, objects in the case of MSP objects. You can also get further information by right clicking uh, on an object and viewing its help patch. And from the help patch, you can find the object's reference item.